In the hazy days of vintage television, when black and white painted stories onto the canvas of living rooms, a primal call echoed through the airwaves, captivating hearts and minds alike. The year was 1966, and the screen breathed life into an iconic figure, Tarzan, the untamed lord of the jungle. As the flickering images danced across the screen, viewers found themselves transported into a realm where the wilderness embraced humanity in its most raw and unfiltered form. Do you recall that moment when the first glimpse of Tarzan's vine-swinging prowess left you wide-eyed, suspended between awe and envy? Or perhaps it was the resonating beat of tribal drums, subtly coaxing your heart to sync with the untamed rhythm of the wild. The show wasn't just a spectacle, it was an invitation to explore uncharted territories, to unshackle the constraints of civilization and embrace the untamed spirit that lingered within. Now, as we delve deeper into the jungle of random facts about this unforgettable series, let the nostalgia of that first encounter wash over you. Did you know that Ron Ely, the man who brought Tarzan to life, underwent rigorous training to embody the character's primal strength and agility? And behind the scenes, the production team ingeniously crafted a world that mirrored the verdant magnificence of the jungle, right in the heart of the concrete jungle of Hollywood. So, as we journey through the untold tales and behind-the-scenes whispers of the 1966 TV series Tarzan, take a moment to rekindle those memories that have been tucked away in the deepest recesses of your mind. Let the distant echoes of jungle calls remind you of the allure and mystique that once held you captive before your TV screen. In a captivating twist within the 1966 TV series Tarzan, Mike Henry, famed for his portrayal of Tarzan in cinematic adventures, was initially slated to be the lead in the show. However, he ultimately withdrew from the role, paving the way for Ron Ely to step into the iconic loincloth. An intriguing subplot emerged from this shuffle. Ely was originally intended to portray a Tarzan imposter in a proposed episode of the series. The series, set against the lush backdrop of the jungle, was poised to showcase Mike Henry's prowess as the Lord of the Wild. Yet, as fate would have it, Henry's decision led to the fortuitous casting of Ron Ely, whose charismatic portrayal of Tarzan captured the hearts of viewers. Ely's dynamic interpretation breathed new life into the character, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. As the jungle drums of speculation beat, it is fascinating to envision the alternative narrative where Ely would have ventured into the uncharted territory of a Tarzan imposter, a role that could have showcased his versatile acting range in an unexpected manner. Alas, the storylines that never materialized remain tantalizing what-ifs in the annals of television history. In this captivating tale of casting maneuvers, the 1966 Tarzan series found its charismatic hero in Ron Ely, steering the show towards a course that would etch his name alongside the iconic figure of Tarzan. The echoes of this twist in destiny remind us that the jungle's secrets extend beyond its vines and creatures, resonating with the intrigues of Hollywood itself. Tarzan's iconic call, a voice from the wild in the depths of the dense jungle, a primal cry pierced the air, a call that echoed through generations of television history. The 1966 TV series Tarzan, a visual voyage into the untamed wilderness, brought to life the legendary character created by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Amidst the lush greenery and perilous escapades, one sound stood out, Tarzan's signature jungle call. Surprisingly, the iconic call wasn't an original creation for the show. Rather, it was a hauntingly familiar voice that resonated with viewers. The recording of Tarzan's resonant call was none other than the vocal imprint of Johnny Weissmuller, the celebrated Olympic swimmer-turned-actor who had portrayed Tarzan in a series of films during the 1930s and 40 seconds. This auditory homage added a layer of authenticity, bridging the gap between eras and immersing audiences into the timeless mythos of the jungle lord. Beyond the call, the show's syndication in the 1970s sparked a quirky tradition. TV Guide magazine, a prominent source of television information, offered succinct and often whimsical plot descriptions for Saturday morning episodes. These concise narratives piqued the curiosity of eager viewers, tantalizing them with hints of the adventures that awaited Tarzan and his companions. While the Jungle Call and TV Guide tidbits are the stuff of Tarzan trivia, the heart of the show remained its portrayal of untamed wilderness, noble heroism, and timeless escapades. The allure of swinging through the trees, the bond with his animal allies, and the constant clash with nefarious forces all underlined the enduring appeal of Tarzan. 
So, when you hear that haunting cry echoing through the dense foliage, remember that it carries the legacy of a bygone era, a link between the past and present, and an invitation to explore the wild side of television history. Daredevil Ron Ely's perilous pursuit in the 1966 TV series Tarzan in the dense jungles of television history. The 1966 TV series Tarzan swings with a daring narrative twist that sets it apart from its cinematic predecessors. Unlike its silver screen adaptations, the small screen incarnation chose to eschew the iconic character of Jane, Tarzan's mate, a departure that originated from the mind of Sue Weintraub, the series visionary. Weintraub's innovative decision extended further as he ushered in a new character, a young orphan boy named Jai, to replace the familiar presence of boy, the adoptive son. However, it was not just the storyline that made headlines, but the real-life heroics of the lead actor, Ron Ely, that captured the audience's attention. Ely, who donned the loincloth of the titular character, was not content with mere on-screen presence. Insisting on performing his own stunts, he plunged headlong into a perilous journey. Over the course of the first season's shooting, Ely faced a staggering 17 injuries. His commitment led him through a gauntlet of hazards that would give even the hardiest of stunt performers pause. The list of Ely's daring escapades reads like a script of its own. From sprinting through a blazing village, his arms and legs singed, to a forehead bite from a supposedly tame lion, the challenges were unrelenting. The ordeal continued as he tumbled down a hill, the skin on his feet torn asunder, and then plummeted 25 feet off a vine, a fall that dislocated his shoulder. Not to be outdone, a second vine sent him crashing down again, breaking his other shoulder. He fractured ribs, sprained wrists, all in a day's work for the fearless Ron Ely. The 1966 TV series Tarzan wasn't just a display of Ely's courageous feats, but it also captured the imagination of a generation. In the syndication era of the 1970s, TV Guide magazine embraced the show, providing eager audiences with concise Saturday morning plot previews. This brief yet enticing glimpse into the jungle adventures created a fervor that echoed through living rooms across the nation. As the years have passed, the legend of the 1966 TV series Tarzan endures, a testament to both its audacious star and the innovative decisions that shaped its unique narrative. In a world where danger and drama collided on screen and off, Ron Ely's portrayal of the iconic character stands as a lasting tribute to the audacity of television's yesteryears. In the rugged world of 1,966 seconds TV series Tarzan, Ron Ely swung into action, embodying the iconic jungle hero with a daring that went beyond the screen. Ely's commitment to authenticity led him to perform his own stunts, but it came at a price, 17 different injuries in the first season alone. From singeing his limbs while charging through a blazing village to a forehead bite from a tame lion, Ely's list of mishaps reads like a daredevil's memoir. A litany of misfortunes didn't stop there. Ely careened down hills, shredding the skin off his feet, and plummeted 25 feet from a vine, dislocating his shoulder. Not once, but twice, he repeated the feat, breaking one shoulder and fracturing three ribs in the process. Both wrists felt the strain of his commitment, bearing the weight of sprains. Ely's dedication to bringing Tarzan to life was as wild as the untamed landscape he navigated. Interestingly, the story of Tarzan could have unfolded quite differently. Mike Henry, fresh from a series of cinematic Tarzan exploits, was poised to assume the lead in the television adaptation. However, fate swung in a different direction as Henry withdrew from the project. Stepping into his loincloth was Ron Ely, who, it turns out, was originally slated for a different role altogether. Ely's journey to the jungle was destined from the start, even if the path was winding. As the opening credits rolled, a familiar face graced the screen, that of Mike Henry. Though Ely now commanded the role, Henry's legacy remained, with his image enshrined in the first shot of the show's introduction. It was a subtle nod to what could have been, a passing of the torch from one Tarzan to another. In the annals of television history, 1,966 seconds Tarzan remains a testament to the lengths actors will go to breathe life into their roles. Ron Ely's daring feats and the unexpected twists of casting added layers of intrigue to the show's legacy. As the jungle drums echoed and the vines entwined, Tarzan swung through the small screen, leaving a trail of mesmerized viewers and a legacy etched in TV lore. 
Tarzan's mate missing, boy replaced, unconventional choices in the 1966 TV series Jungle King and the dense foliage of 1,966 seconds television landscape. One show swung into the spotlight with a unique twist on the timeless tale of Tarzan. Created by producer Sue Weintraub, the series carved its own path through the tangled vines of adaptation. Unlike its cinematic counterparts, Weintraub's Tarzan made a daring omission, the iconic character of Jane. A departure from tradition, this decision left the Jungle King to navigate his untamed realm without his mate by his side. Instead, a new presence graced the screen, Jai, a young orphan boy. Weintraub's creative departure stirred both intrigue and debate, offering a fresh angle to the Tarzan narrative. Delving deeper, a peculiar auditory secret emerges. The unmistakable jungle call of Tarzan, reverberating through the lush canopy, was none other than a recording of Johnny Weissmuller himself. The actor, renowned for his portrayal of the vine-swinging hero in earlier adaptations, lent his iconic voice to the show's primal cry. As the opening scenes unfold, an observant eye might notice a subtle zoological incongruity. While a symphony of African species parades across the screen, the final member of this wild ensemble stands apart, an elephant, but not of the expected African breed. Marked by its relatively diminutive ears, this pachyderm belongs to the Asian lineage, an intriguing nod to the show's attention to detail. The 1966 Tarzan TV series, with its audacious reimagining and keen eye for authenticity, continues to capture the imagination of viewers. Whether swinging through the trees or emitting that iconic call, Tarzan's primal spirit endures, carving its place into the annals of television history. As the vines of nostalgia wind their way through the jungle of your memories, the echo of the iconic jungle cry still resonates within your heart. The 1966 TV series Tarzan swung into our lives like the Lord of the Treetops himself, leaving an indelible mark that time could never erode. As we bid adieu to this journey, a gentle whisper stirs, beckoning you to embark on a voyage through the dense undergrowth of your past. Recall those Sunday afternoons when you sat enthralled before the flickering screen. Tarzan's primal call igniting the fires of adventure within you. The lush landscapes and heart-pounding escapades woven into the tapestry of your youth, like a map leading to a treasure trove of cherished recollections. Did you ever find yourself gripping a tree branch in your imagination, feeling the rush of the wind through your hair as you swung alongside Tarzan on daring exploits? Perhaps it was the thrill of encountering exotic creatures, or the deep resonance of lessons about nature's delicate balance, that left an indelible impression on your soul. In this digital age, as we scroll through timelines and streams, let us not forget the simplicity and power of a show that captivated hearts long before the digital jungle engulfed us. Your connection with the 1966 Tarzan series is a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling, a testament to the timelessness of adventure, and the spirit of the wild that resides within us all. Now, dear adventurer, as the final rays of sunset caress the horizon, I invite you to share your treasured reflections on the Tarzan series. Cast your words into the vast expanse of the digital canopy, and let them join the symphony of whispers echoing through the vines. Share your fondest memories, your deepest thoughts, and perhaps even a wild Tarzan-like yell of appreciation for this timeless saga. Thank you, intrepid soul, for embarking on this expedition through the jungles of memory with me. Your time and thoughts are precious gems that enrich the legacy of Tarzan and the tapestry of human connection. Until we journey again through the landscapes of yesteryears, keep the spirit of Tarzan alive in your heart. Fondly, your name.